Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Here's another very nice word problem for you. And the word problem says that a box contains 96 folders. Okay, one box. Okay, one box contains 96 folders. A bookstore keeper bought 32 boxes and divided the folders into packs of 10. If he sold each pack for $7 and the remaining folders for $1 each, find the sum of money that the bookstore keeper got. So what's given to us is one box contains 96 folders. So if this is one box, then there are 96 folders in this box. Okay, these are 96 folders. So let's maybe label them one two three and so on until 95 and 96 okay so these are the folders and this is one box this is one box and these are the folders let's also color them okay so these are the colored folders okay now let me also put this mark this as a box okay because this is a box now this is one box and it contains 96 folders now if there were 32 such boxes how many folders would be there so what you do is times 32 so this is one box times 30 so the total number of folders in 32 boxes would be 32 times 96 i have no idea what that number is so i'm going to use a calculator all right, so let's find out 32 times 96, and that's equal to 3072. So I'm going to write that down here, 3072 folders. Okay, so 90, oh, sorry, 32 boxes have 3072 folders. So that's from, that's been found out. Now, what the shopkeeper or the bookstore keeper did was he bought 32 boxes, which contained altogether 3072 folders, and then he divided the folders into packs of 10. So what he did was he took these 3072 folders, which we have here. Let's say, let's draw this model diagram for folders okay this is folders this the, the the one above was for box one box and this uh, the one below is for folders okay so let's color the folders this as purple now what we have is the bookstore keeper he divided the folders into packs of 10 so he made bundles or he made packets or he made packs of folders containing 10 folders each so he made a pack of folders containing 10 folders each so he took all these 3072 folders here these are 3072 folders and what he did was he divided them into packs of 10 so he made pack number one containing 10 folders pack number two containing 10 more folders pack number three containing 10 folders and another pack four containing uh, 10 folders and so on until his folders got exhausted and maybe there was a remainder here which was less than 10 okay so maybe let's mark that as uh, in yellow okay so we know that it's not 10 it's less than 10 maybe there was a remainder maybe there weren't any remainders but let's just assume that there was so we mark that down as remainder okay we label that as remainder so he made packs of 10 folders each we don't know how many packs he made so let's break this model okay so we break this model and we say that he made packs of 10 folders each and we don't know how many packs uh, he ended up making in the end okay so what our aim is now what our job is first is to find out how many packs he made because what we have to find out eventually is how much money he made by selling all these folders so for that we have to first find out how many packs he made because he first sold each pack okay he sold each pack of 10 for seven dollars and the remaining folders which is this yellow part here for one dollar each so what we have now is this purple part each of this these small purple blocks or small purple uh, rectangles which um, which represent 10 folders a pack of 10 folders 
was sold for seven dollars okay so each of this purple thing here was sold for seven dollars and any of the remaining folders were sold for one dollar each so first we have to find out how many purple boxes or purple little things were there so let's find out so he had three thousand and seventy two folders and he divided them into packs of 10. So how many do we have? This is simple calculation. 307 remainder 2. What that means is there were 307 packs. 7 packs of 10 folders each. So what we found out here is that there were 307 packs and each pack contained 10 folders. Okay. Now there were 307 packs and each of the packs was sold for $7. That's given to us, right, over here. So each of the 307 packs was sold for $7. So how much money did uh, the shopkeeper make or the bookstore keeper make out of that? So we have 307 times 7. So the bookkeeper, or the bookstore keeper, he made $2,149 out of selling the purple packs here and then he also sold the remaining folders for one dollar each now how many uh, folders were left after he finished packing the folders into packs of 10 well we just found out that there were two folders remaining here uh, let me use another color so here this is uh, our uh, this is this is what our calculation gave that when you divide it 3072 into packs of 10 there were 307 packs that were made and then in the end there were two folders that were left okay that's uh, here all right so then the two folders which were left were sold for one dollar each and that gave the shopkeeper two dollars right so the shopkeeper collected two dollars out of selling uh, the remaining two folders for one dollar each so in the end how much did he collect altogether so what do we have here he he sold the 307 packs for $2,149 and he sold the remaining two folders for $2. So obviously what he made was the sum of these two and the sum of these two, okay, let me do the working here on the left side of the screen. So total, totally he made $2,149 plus $2 and that's equal to $2,151. So you can write that the bookstore keeper got $2,151. That's the end of this word problem. For more word problems and for practice exercises as usual, don't forget to visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.